Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Jaycoon Presents. This episode will be devoted to my Road to Evo series, where I'll be showing you my progress in fighting games that I'm training to compete in in Las Vegas in July for the Evo Championship series. Now, I meant to get to this a lot sooner, but lately I've been dealing with the Walmart equivalent of an internet connection, so I haven't been able to train as well as I would like to fighting online. But thankfully that should be taken care of by the end of next week, and I'll be able to get back on a regular schedule. But thankfully, I had some matches stored away for just such an occasion. Now throughout this segment, I'll be showing you the matches from each of the fighting games I'll be training in, and giving commentary on each match, as well as why I pick certain characters, and what I think went wrong on matches that I lose. Along the way, I'll also leave uh, things open for suggestions from you, the viewers, for tips and strategies on what I could do to make my fighting ability better, and make myself more prepared for when I face these upcoming tournaments. So, without any further delay, let's go take a look at the footage. So we'll be going into the first set of the games that I've recorded for y'all, which is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's going to be three matches, and as you can see, uh, my rank right now is only at a rookie on this match. I was still relatively new to the game, and I was still trying to figure out which characters I really wanted to stick with. When they started showcasing a lot of the characters, uh, one of the ones that I really, really got drawn to was Nova. So you'll you'll see me pull him out later on in this match. But right now I'm rolling out with Captain America. He was one of those characters that I've always been kind of appealed to, just just because he's always been one of those like staple characters, you know. But as you can see, I'm still trying to learn him a little bit. Adding the OTG shield to his repertoire was definitely a big help. And now this opponent's going to come in with Beautiful Joe and try and even the score after me dropping his Morgan. And as you can see, he's not doing a bad job. <laughs> and me going in for the low attack and getting a little greedy allows him to pull out a very random double team hyper combo and drop Captain America from the fight. But in comes one of my favorite characters, Nova. Which, as you can see, I'm still trying to figure out how to play with him properly when I recorded this footage. But you'll see later on that my uh, fighting ability with him gets a lot better. One of the main reasons why I really stuck with him is, as you can see, he is a powerhouse when it comes to dealing out damage. And now this guy is down to his last guy and pops the X Factor to give him an extra ability uh, of strength and speed. And right now it's not really helping him out all that well. But, I drop the combo right here, and he knocks me out of my hyper. Then he tries to counter with a hyper of his own, and thankfully I blocked it, and then he knocks me out of another hyper combo and kills Nova. So it's up to Wesker to save the day. And as you can see, Wesker is very, very powerful. He's definitely one of the best characters in the game. I don't mind using him every now and then, but I kind of feel like he's one of those crutch characters. Kind of like Phoenix was in the original version of this game. Where, like, it doesn't hurt to learn how to use him, but it's more important to learn how to beat him rather than use him. So here we are on the second fight. So I'm trying out another new character called Iron Fist, one of the new characters they added to the Ultimate lineup. I got the inspiration to start using Iron Fist just simply because of watching Justin Wong. And he had one of the most devastating Iron Fists as I ever saw. So as you can see from my rank, I have moved up a little bit. I'm from a, a rookie to a fighter now. And running up against a Deadpool, a Ghost Rider, and an Akuma. Which, as you can see, Deadpool's not giving me much trouble at all. So in comes his Ghost Rider, another one of the new fighters. Ghost Rider is very deceitful. You would think he'd be a little more of a close fighter, but he's actually more of a range fighter due to the length of his uh, chain whip. The thing can reach damn near across the entire screen. And here I am doing a team combo, or a delayed hyper combo, I apologize. And me getting a little greedy trying to reset and then screwing up the reset and I got uh, bingoed in the face for it. But the thing with Wesker, you don't have to be really fancy with him in order to be effective. And I guess that's a good thing for most characters, but like I said, uh, I'm more interested in learning to beat Wesker rather than play with him. 
So this opponent pops his X-Factor with Akuma, and my god does he deal an unbelievable amount of damage. And I try and counterattack with Iron Fist, and as you can see, I, I put up a decent fight, but just the damage output of Akuma as an anchor character with X-Factor activated just does a ridiculous amount of damage. And I go for a Hyper after popping my X-Factor, and he knocks me right out of it. And then he proceeds to get greedy and hit me with a level 3, and that effectively costs him the match. So doing a little better on this match, so let's go over to the last one. Now in this fight right here, you can see I've done a little bit better, and I've kind of figured out my team. I started using Nova just simply because I love using that character, and he's very uh, fun to play with. And I'm messing around with Nemesis, and not doing too bad, but... I don't think he's going to be one of my permanent um, team members I'm going to be using in tournaments and stuff like that. Nova and Akuma are definitely going to be two of my permanent fighters, but I'm still trying to figure out a third person to round out that team that would complement them well in a fight. So if y'all have any uh, comments or suggestions on who I could use, please by all means leave some comments below. Now, as you can see, I'm not really doing too bad. He calls out his Ghost Rider and then tags in Dante, and Dante immediately gets destroyed the moment he comes in. Nemesis is ungodly powerful. And due to my foolishness, I eat two hyper combos in a row. <laughs> and he tries to pop his X-Factor in order to take me out of the fight, but it doesn't work too well for him. But me messing up yet another combo, but doing that rocket in the air actually saved me. And I'm able to counter with a combo of my own. And now I'm bringing in Nova to f try and finish him off. Not quite there yet. But, as you can see, I'm very much in control of this fight, and firing off the energy javelins to try and keep him at a distance. Calling in Akuma one more time, and he still manages to get a hit in on me. But, does not maintain his block, and he winds up losing Deadpool because of it. And that should about do it for Ghost Rider. I know this commentary is a little on the fly, but thank you very much for watching, and hopefully we'll uh, be in store for some more matches in the future. So until next time, this is Jaycoon signing out.